Hello, my name is Christina Eanes, and I am host of the Quit Bleeping Around podcast and the Christina Eanes YouTube channel. As a proud volunteer for Suited for Change, I'm hosting a very special podcast series. In honor of Black History Month and Women's History Month, I'm interviewing several amazing ladies who have some great advice to share. Welcome, Lakina. Thank you for joining us for the Suited for Change mini podcast series. Thank you, Christina, for having me. It's such a pleasure and honor to be here. Well, I'd love to hear, and I'm sure the listeners would too, a little bit more about your background. Please share with us. Sure. Um, hmm, where to start? I am not a DC native. I am originally from Portsmouth, Virginia. I uh, raised there until my late teen years. I moved to Maryland with my father as a young adult. Um, during adulthood, I transitioned my residency completely, completely to DC. It's just been a life, I tell you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> education, professionalism, um, just a lot um, in that aspect. And then actually, actually started my own um, family. So yeah, we're still here in DC. Oh, and I have seen pictures of those precious babies. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so now how did you you find yourself at Suited for Change? I graduated from the DAS Project Empowerment Program um, in 2018. I joined that program because I needed a fresh start in the right direction. And at the time, that that was what I thought would be um, that could offer me, you know, to give me the best results. Yeah. Um, and of course, increasing my, cha- my chances of becoming uh, self, su- self sufficient. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, employed and they, they offered that they gave me, they provided me the reboot that I needed and surrounded me around, uh, people who genuinely cared about my success and want the best for me with the, the passions, my passion and learning and aspirations to become, you know, whatever uh, I appease, despite the hurdles and barriers and challenges I faced prior on. Yeah. Um, and so that, that is, that was the fire, as I say, to the flame <laughs> um, that was needed. And throughout that process, they had referrals and, and partnership with Suited for Change. And I met the ladies through, through um, one of the caseworkers there for clothing. I lost a lot of weight throughout the time, so I didn't have the clothing that I needed to to be a part of the professional world. And so, Suited for Change saved my life, among other Aww. other people's. Like I, I, I am, I tell the ladies there all the time, "Thank you." You know, I can never like not say it without. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, it's it's a forever, um, forever thankfulness for that. For Aww. sure. So program graduate, now success. So what is it that you do now at Suited for Change? Well, I am proud to announce that I am one of the newest board members. Ooh. Um, yeah, so exciting. And so I will be helping a lot with fundraising and volunteering support, um, mentoring, wherever it's needed. And I can get my hands involved with, within the community with the ladies, uplift and inspire and even share my story to let others know that your past does not define the current and present, right? Yeah. Or the future for that matter. And yes, we all have hiccups, but to dash yourself off and, and get back up and get back out there and, and, and trust and trust, have trust, have faith, that, yeah. in other words, that everything is going to be all right. Um, and I, I find that, yes, we are adults. And to hear that, though, can, is so comforting and to be reminded for sure. Life can spin us all in circles, right? And we totally forget those things like, hey, wait, tomorrow's a new mm-hmm. day. I really can do better, you know, and, and start over. Yeah. So. So yeah, that's that's. Oh, it's it's so it sounds like I mean, you have some great advice coming out of this. Yeah, so let's 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 formalize this, right? So in honor of Black History Month and Women's History Month, yes. what advice do you have for other Black women? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I will first begin with, we'll follow up, should I say, uh, with trust yourself, uh, forgive yourself, mm. um, forgive yourself first, actually, <laughs> Um Trust yourself and trust those who genuinely um, are, are here to help you. There's a lot of doubt um, in the professional world, you know, from educational world um, and then pro- certain programs like Project Empowerment even, you know, um, and in addition to 
the uh, volunteering support that Suda for Change even does. You know, you, you go in with a different, you know, thought process, mm-hmm. thinking like, okay, are these people really going to help me? Do they really care? Am I just going to get like any type of help or, you know, treatment? And then when you leave there, it's like, oh, MG. These people <laughs> really care. It's genuine. Yeah. It's, you know? And so it really, really, really changed your perspective. Um, your lens on on, you know, there are genuine people out here that really care. And so that makes you a better person. It, it's yeah. like it's contagious, you know? <laughs> oh yeah. Um and, and it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So I I I, I would suggest that Individuals forgive themselves, um, trust themselves and those around them who really mean you well, and become comfortable with the unfamiliar. Mm. That was a huge one. <laughs> yeah. Tell me more. <laughs> OMG. But I'm proud now, though. So going to new atmospheres and, and being around different scenes that I'm not used to you know, you could be uncomfortable. Right. And so just stretch that comfort zone. Yeah. 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 Just, just, you know, as they say, chill, relax, (laughs) dress yourself, be yourself, Uh you know, and, and everything really, really will fall in line. Um, I've, I've been in, um, you know, certain rooms and atmosphere that, still today blow my mind like wait I know that person that that's that that is cool <laughs> <laughs> um and so again it is it's a humbling humbling uh experience and so that is that is that is some of the best advice I could I can give women African-American women for sure um and especially in the communities I am a resident of board eight and so um I can totally relate to um, a lot of the, the women on the, on this end that may have some um, some doubt or um, skepticism, should I say? Yeah, you know? yeah. So the trust yourself and trust that there are people out there that do care. Yes, yes. Well, and I and, love too from your story before, give back. Oh yeah, and use oh, your yeah. story to inspire others. Oh my goodness, which is what yes. you're doing. You have to do that. <laughs> You have to do that. Become familiar with the unfamiliar number three and number four. Look, we're, we're, the list is just piling on. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. And then um, last but not least important, give back. I find that not only does it make you feel great and better as a person, but also to see that you were able to make a change, a positive change that is um, in someone else's life. Uh, yeah. especially during such crucial times, you never know where a person is, you know, um, where they're coming from or, but pain and suffering are, are challenges that they are facing. Um, no one's walking around with a sign, you know, saying, Hey, <laughs> this and that, and that is going on. That would be yeah. interesting. Wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, um, it's, it's so important and it, and it feels great to do so. So every opportunity and chance, certainly. Yeah. And I do hear one more from your story. Keep going. Do not give up. Just keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's number five. <laughs> we'll just add a few more on there. No, yeah, why not? You know, it's not going to hurt. Um, <laughs> keep going. Yeah. So it goes back to the past and not allowing the past to stop you from what you originally um, had planned or what you now have in store or in mind for yourself. You know, I, I, I made bad decisions trying to fit in, you know, and knowing that, wait, that's not me. But of course, finding that out after the fact got in some trouble. And so I'm able to meet others where they are now. And like, look, you know, people totally look at me and just like, oh, she have everything all together. And I'm like, uh, no, until <laughs> I share my story, you know, like uh-huh. I share my story and, and they're like, eyes huge and heart is just like, you know, <laughs> crying like yeah. unbelievable. I can't believe it. And it's like, yeah, I've been through that. And guess what? I overcame, you know, yeah. um, and so can you. And now, oh my goodness, from um, grad- being a graduate of the Georgetown Pivot Program to working at a prestigious PR firm, I mean, and may I say an awesome team. <laughs> an awesome team. You have to pinch yourself, huh? <laughs> yeah. Often. Yeah. Often. You know. Oh, um, so I'm hearing gratitude to add to the oh, list too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, a huge amount of that. And um 
just it's 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 phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, the last couple of years for me, so I'm, I'm able to actually make that one of the five bits of advice. Thank you, Lakina, for sharing that inspiring story. I'm ready to go tackle the world now. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm totally do it. You have my support. <laughs> yes. So folks, if you want to learn more about Lakina, she's got a profile on the Suited for Change website. Check her out. 